C&D has a long relationship with Glastonbury Festival. It used to even be called the Glastonbury C&D Festival. C&D sold the tickets, people had to send a cheque to the office in London before they could get their ticket for the festival. We would then staff the information points and help people when they got here. So that long tradition continues today where we enjoy having a presence here. This year we have two stalls, one at the Pyramid Stage and one at Green Features Field where it's an opportunity for us to talk to people about the campaign, uh, opportunity to share our material and basically to spread the message. We also have a maze at Shangri-La, which is a new thing this year, where we're asking people what would they spend £100 billion on. If they choose nuclear weapons, it's a dead end, but if they choose NHS or climate, they get to come through to the party. This is all part of our campaign and strategy to raise the profile of the Scrap Trident campaign. At the stall we've been collecting signatures on the petition um, and handing out a lot of temporary tattoos and uh, CND logo, people are really into that. The reason I'm supporting CND at Glastonbury is simply because it's an amazing cause. Um, I think it's an extremely difficult one to communicate uh, and it deals with one of the biggest and most terrifying themes um, that we have to deal with as human beings in 2015. Uh, and I respect the challenge that they have. So I'm here for the campaign of nuclear disarmament. Please remember that phrase. You can sign up at the pyramid stage. So please think about what I've said. And if you agree with what I said, please feel free to dance. It goes just without saying that it would just raise the quality of life and save so much suffering. That is actually present, not conceptual and theoretical. Genuine, actual, present problems that exist here and now. At a time when it's slashing public services, cutting the NHS, uh, not doing enough to tackle climate change, uh, saddling students with tuition fees, these are all things that the money that is being spent on Trident could be actually invested in a, a more productive society, progressive society, and that's what we're campaigning for. So a lot of the campaigning materials around here are NHS not Trident, climate not Trident, homes not Trident, and that's what we're saying. This is money which could be better spent not only getting rid of nuclear weapons but also investing in public services and I think that's what the majority of the British public want. I signed the petition because I believe that real security doesn't come from weapons of mass destruction but from having a health service that can look after us, um, which we can't have if we keep cutting back on the NHS, on education and whatnot, and putting £100 billion of new spending on nuclear weapons, I think it's atrocious. This year we've been lucky enough to get the support of a lot of the bands playing at Glastonbury, including three or four headliners. So they've been happy to meet with us, talk about the campaign. Super Furry Animals wore our t-shirts on stage last night. The band Peace took our placards to draft their stage with. We're meeting with many others over the coming days. So there's a lot of support, old and new, for what we're doing here. I think with the right communication, um, with the right people supporting it, and people realising the conditions and the social conditions we live in right now, it's definitely 100% possible we can disarm and stop these nuclear bombs.